going to put up on the board this particular algebraic fraction and it is x plus 3 over 4 plus x minus 5 and that's uh, over 3. Okay, now they want, they generally with these types of questions they give you one word and what they actually say is this, simplify. Okay, so they're looking for you to simplify that. Well, we're going to use exactly the same ideas that we've done before. So if you look at something like that and just kind of ignore this x plus 3 and this x minus 5, what you've got there is something that we could write as a quarter plus a third. Well, hopefully you'll be able to do that now because what you've got to do is convert these bottom numbers to the same number. Practically what we do is we multiply this by 3 and we multiply this by 4 and that becomes a bottom number of 12. The thing about that is, as you've already come across as well, is that if you multiply the bottom of the fraction by a number, you've got to multiply the top by 3 as well. And this one, we've got to multiply the top by 4. And that's exactly the same process that we're going to go through with this algebraic fraction. Okay, now some of the principles that we're going to use are all about um, multiplying algebra or algebraic terms. Um, it's kind of not covered in this particular course, but hopefully you'll be able to cover it in terms of this particular question. Um, perhaps in the future we might be able to look at putting together an algebraic course. Okay, so I'm going to use the same principle as I have here, I'm going to apply to this particular set of fractions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the bottom number by 3 and I'm going to multiply the top by 3. Now the way we write that is we put the top into brackets like that. So we say this is x plus 3 and we're going to multiply x plus 3 as a complete unit by 3. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. But this time I'm going to multiply the bottom by 4 in the same way as I did over here. So 4 times 3. And then at the top it's going to be 4 multiplied by x minus 5. Okay, so hopefully you get an idea that really we're not, we've not really done anything different to if it had been straightforward fractions. The fact that we've got algebra terms in them, we've got a value of x in there, doesn't really make a lot of difference. All we're doing is we're not actually finding the value of x, what we're doing is simplifying this whole thing. Doesn't look very simple at the moment, that's the only thing. Okay, but it will do in a minute or two. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do first is this bracket, uh, this uh, term here we know is 12 and this is 12. Well that's okay, it means then we can add these two together. But in order to add them together, firstly what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand or get rid of the brackets. And the way we do that is we multiply each of the terms, in this particular case by 3, and each of the terms here, in this particular case, by 4. So let me explain that. Okay, at the bottom, hopefully we're agreed that 3 times 4 is 12 plus 4 times 3 is 12. So we can do the same idea as here. We can add these two together, providing they're divided by 12. That's fine. Hopefully you're okay with that. The top one, I've got 3 times x. Okay, so I'm going to write that out as 3x. Then the next one, I've got 3 times positive 3. So 3 times positive 3 is positive 9, okay? And then I'm going to add this to the expanded bracket here. So I've got 4 times x is 4x, and I've got 4 times minus 5, which is minus 20. Okay, now as I say, we're not really, in this particular instance, we're not really working out the value of x. What we're doing is just simply, simplify, simply simplifying it. Okay, so we're going to simplify this. And the way we do that is we gather up like terms. So I've got 3x here, and I've got 4x here. So 3x plus 4x is going to be 7x. Okay, then I've got plus 9 and I've got minus 20. So plus 9 
minus 20 gives me a negative 11. And that's divided by 12. Okay, that's the answer. So what we've done here, I appreciate there's two areas that you might not be familiar with. And they're the two bits in the middle. Uh, this first one is where we multiply out the brackets, but hopefully you can see what I've done there. And then the second bit that you might be less familiar with is gathering like terms. It's called gathering like terms. And that's exactly what we did on this particular bit. So other than this and this, the principle of dealing with algebraic fractions is no different to everything else that we've been talking about in this course. Okay, I hope that's been all right for you. Um, if you would like to explore this a little bit further and you feel that it's something that you'd like to develop, and there are, it does get a little bit more complicated than this, and we can get involved in things like factorising and all sorts of different things. Um, and if you'd like to see that as a development either of this course or an additional course, please do let me know. Drop me a comment. I'll be more than happy to have a look at it. And any suggestions? Very much welcome. Thank you so much for being involved in the course. I hope you've benefited from it. I look forward to seeing you at some point in the future.